Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all for joining me for another video. In this one, I decided to do a little abstract piece, um, kind of a zen doodle type deal. I've done it before a lot, and I really had no idea in my head what I was going to be drawing. I do know, coming up pretty soon, I started painting this, and it dawned on me, it looks like a goddamn Dixie cup, you know, little mouthwash ones, and I did not like that idea, so I scrapped the whole thing. I, I tried to fix it up and still look like a Dixie cup, so... I ended up scrapping it. I started then adding some more textures, starting to scrape into the paint, kind of rubbing it away and giving it a grunge vibe. Um, ended up throwing down some red and blowing it out. That way it kind of has a just a real messy effect, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, after that I sat there and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. Then I pulled out the masking tape and I started blocking off areas. I like doing this little method because it helps for what I'm about to do. I'm going to start doodling right now to kind of break it down into segments and not to feel so overwhelmed by a giant piece. That and I like the look, how it looks once you pull the tape up and it segments off everything. I think it gives a piece a real nice look to it. So. I then went in with my trusty dip pen, the one from the last video, and some Indian black ink. And from there, I started to kind of just see where it took me. I kept just drawing these lines. It's actually, to me at least, it's really relaxing. Just kind of going with the flow of things and seeing what comes out of it. I really have no picture in my head when I'm doing this. I kind of just work with it. And the further along I get, the piece starts to develop on its own. And before you know it, I have an entire page filled. Have you guys ever had it to where you have that idea in your head, you really don't know what you're drawing, you just kind of doodle and kind of just let the pen take over, and that's pretty much what this is. I, Like I said, I didn't really have a main goal while drawing this one, I just knew I wanted to doodle, yeah, doodle, I wanted to doodle, and I really had nothing in mind, but again, I'm really glad with how it turned out. I find that doodling like this, at least it really helps before I do something big or actually try to sketch something out. Or go in and ink a piece only because it helps me refine all my lines all the twists and turns and just using the ink pen it's really great practice for people getting into dip pens too it'll teach you how much pressure you can put down on the pen before you blot a line and stuff along those lines <laughs> i know i found myself with this piece i kind of lost track of time um this one took roughly about an hour hour and a half but to me it only felt like around 10 minutes, maybe 20, I ended up looking up at the clock and I was just like, wow, that ended up going by really fast and I didn't even realize I was sitting there doodling as long as I had been. So it's a good time killer and it's a great practicing tool. I think it's something everybody should at least try because there's no wrong way to do this, honestly. And like I said, it's fun. You end up with some really intricate and nice looking pieces by the time you're done. I know I, uh, on one of my old videos, I have a sketchbook that it's basically a year-long sketch every day type of book and I went in for the first it was like 15 20 days and I would do one of these type of drawings mixed with one of my character designs in the center to kind of bring everything out so it'd be background work with the Zen doodle in the background but I did that for about 20 days I, my goal is eventually to fill the entire thing I kind of lost track of the days and forgot to draw on it every day but eventually I'll come back to it and when I do I, I plan on doing this again it was definitely worth it, and it definitely worked out really well for me, at least, because it taught me a lot, as a lot as that is, with just drawing nothing but tiny microscopic lines all the time. It was fun. It was definitely fun. I do know one of the struggles with this is trying to make sure that you don't bleed over or trying too hard to make everything perfect, which, Again, it was something that took a while for me to learn that not all of these have to be 100% perfect. Uh, there's plenty of mistakes in this piece that I did, but I just kept rolling with it. Um, it's something that came with age and I guess with me just drawing constantly. I kind of just embraced the mistakes and made them mine. That's what I really learned out of it, which is good. I'm glad. But yeah. And then, pretty much almost done with this piece. I, I like almost trapping in the center making it look like a downward falling hole that people are looking into with all the line work going in the center. I also do those little bubble things at each end every now and then. And in the piece, if you look, there's little like sunflower type things thrown around. I like that design. It just adds some contrast to all the line work in there. So. And that's it. It was finally done. Um, from there, I ended up using a 
a stencil brush, I went in with black pastel and I kind of just rubbed the black pastel on the stenciling brush and then went all the way around the tape edging. Um, what this ends up doing is you can't really see it too well on this piece once it's done, but given any other piece, when you pull up the tape, that black powder pigment stenciling effect will create like a drop shadow in the center of the piece and in the areas where it's coming up off the tape. It looks really cool. This one, it wasn't as noticeable, but I still think it added a nice small touch to it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, that's it. That's the uh, little doodle that I ended up doing and decided to upload for you guys. So, as usual, let me know what y'all think. Comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to keep trying to go with this momentum and keep uploading more. So, hopefully I'll uh, see you guys all in the next video. Alright guys, take care.